What's up guys and welcome back to SnowRunner. Today we are headed to the final location in the game, at least as of right now. There is DLC on the way, but uh, we are going to be here in the drowned lands of Tamir, Russia. So uh, you guys can see Russia's split up into three locations, drowned lands, quarry, and then Zim Zim Zimnogorsk. Is that how you say that? I'm not sure, but uh, we're going to see what this has to offer. We're going to get out there. We're going to go exploring, and uh, we are going to take on a, uh, a brave new world, baby. So let's take a look at our truck storage here. Our new Hummer has some upgrades, dude. I'm pretty excited about it. So I did find the uh, the, the toggleable uh, diff lock. So that's right here on the map back in, uh, in the north port of Alaska. And then I also found the lift kit, which is right here on the map of the North Port of Alaska. So I like showing you guys the locations of where we found those in case you're playing along at home. But uh, yeah, this is now, I'm assuming, potentially our best scout vehicle. I, I don't think you can beat the wheels and the tires of our Jeep of Apollo, but uh, I mean, we're, we're, we're gonna take this Hummer out just to kinda change up the, uh, the scenery a bit and we're gonna see what we've got going on. So it looks like this is gonna be a uh, kind of a forested area here in Russia. Obviously, Russia is known for being pretty cold, so I'm sure we're going to have some some snowy parts. Uh, you know, kind of like Alaska, but uh, I guess I guess we'll see what happens, dude. This is... <coughs> kind of like Alaska, but uh, I guess uh, I guess we'll see what happens. We're just going to start off with this, and we're going to see where this takes us. Dude, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Always exciting to uh, to explore new areas and, and just kind of get our feet wet. I know the Russian trucks in this game are supposed to be far and above the best trucks in the game. So I'm excited to see what happens with that. But I guess the first thing that we want to do is going to be to uh, unlock all of these towers. I'm thinking maybe we head down here and then let's try to get this one up in the, uh, the northwestern part of the map to start things off. Sounds good to me. Oh, shoot. Okay, we've already got some... Pretty nasty terrain. We took two two feet off the main road and we're already nearly getting stuck. This is this is gonna be something. Looks like we've got a fuel trailer out there we might need to save. Got a little concrete plate bridge that we're gonna go across here. This is cool. Obviously, last time we saw some uh, some green grass and anything but snow, we were in Michigan, but this definitely looks and feels significantly different. In Michigan, so we're, we're gonna see what happens. One of the things I do like about the Hummer Scout vehicle is that it's excellent on road as well, not just off road. So we've got a smooth ride, we're a smooth operator, baby. Look at this thing. Haven't really spent too much time with the Hummer in this game, but uh, definitely, definitely a valuable tool. Not to mention, we have all the upgrades for it, so we could have some service parts in our trunk, have some fuel up top. We can be sure to uh, to be ready for anything that this thing throws at us. So here we go. Looks like we're going to be taking a left and going out into the... Or actually, do we want to take a right? We want to take a right. Sorry. Want to take a right? We're going to be going out in the boonies. Oh, my goodness. All right. We're going to put all-wheel drive on. Might want to put low in our diff lock on. Maybe low high with the diff lock. Might help us out. Might do a good job. Oh, yeah. Dude. They're like, they're, they're, they're dirt roads that look like they should be simple are, are super nasty, deep mud, just horrendousness. But we're going to be all right. We are right at home. This is exactly where the Hummer wants to be. Looks like we're bogged down in the mud again. Let's go into, into low high here with the diff lock on. Let's keep them wheels spinning. Keep them tires going. Throw some mud. And, uh... And get out there, baby, dude. This is this is insane. Oh, look how sick the Hummer looks out here, dude. I love it. Get it, girl. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, we're gonna go through. We're gonna try to uh, we're gonna scout out some areas here. Hopefully, find some new trucks, find some upgrade parts and such. Um, I don't know. It's it's gonna be interesting. I don't really have a, a plan. My plan is to to get us better set up for uh, for the future of this. You know what I mean? Like kind of. Kind of make a plan for tomorrow's episode, if that makes sense. This is just going to be a bit of exploring and just kind of see what the map has to offer. Probably going to want to turn this diff lock off. Doesn't really like it when you use it on flat ground. Ooh, look at this. 
Gotta be careful about this. We could, we could, you know, accidentally get a wheel stuck down in there. Come on, baby. Very small bridge, but it's big enough that if we had a big truck, we could, uh, we could definitely make it across. Let's put a tire on each each end there. I'm gonna put us back up in a low high here. Let's get across. Oh, it doesn't like that. Take the diff lock off. Woo! Almost did some damage to our engine, baby. Back in the auto. Let me see what we're working with here. Um, I mean, to be honest, this looks like a bit more of a main road. This looks like we could be going the wrong direction. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up to the right. Metea Akons. Nice. Perfect. Yep. We're going the right direction. I know precisely uh, precisely what that says there. Oh, we're already... We're stuck, though. Come on, baby. Okay. Maybe, uh... Maybe we aren't going to be going this way? I don't... I don't really know... I don't really know what's happening here. Come on. Get out of there. Dude, this is insanity. Look how deep this stuff is. We're going uphill... This is, without a doubt, the most unforgiving terrain that we've seen so far, and it makes me sad because it's really beautiful. Like, I, I wish we could just cruise through here. Look at all these beautiful trees. Oh, man. All right. Are we going to want to go right or left is the question. I'm thinking probably left. Looks like this is going up to some sort of a house or something. So, yeah, let's, let's head left. Continue on through the wilderness. I'm going to see if we can use some, some auto here. And it looks like we're going to be able to cruise, baby. Whew. We've got the sunlight coming through the trees. The hummer rolling through the forest. Life is good, baby. Looks like this, uh... This lookout point is probably going to be up on top of this mountain over here. Which means we might have some more challenging terrain coming our way. I'm trying to stay out of the really deep stuff. Dude, this is... Obnoxiously bad terrain. Sliding all over the place, getting completely bogged down, but we're, we're good. We're just going to keep on pushing. I don't know how we're going to get a big truck through this, if you want me to be honest. If anything, maybe our goal with this should be to, uh, to go... Are we going the right way here? That's This probably isn't a good idea, Trev, just to let you know. We're probably going to want to go down here. Or should we send it? I'm sending it. We're going for it. Maybe the, the point of this is we're going to get out here, get some of the, the big, better trucks, and then we'll bring them back and be able to just dominate dominate the performance back in Michigan and Alaska. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. The shortcut's paying off. I am enjoying this. Looks like we have a bit of a road over here, possibly. Let me throw the parking brake on and check. Yeah, we've got, like, some, some basic trails. Looks like we might be able to take the trails up and around. This road also leads straight there. All right. We're just going to see what we can do, baby. A little bit too far committed at this point. Got to drop this thing down to one. This is... I mean... I don't know if you'd find me out here in the, the boonies of Russia. Just cruising by myself, but... So far, so good. Dude, I'm just... Screw it, man. I'm just going straight to the checkpoint. We may get stuck. This may be a big mistake, but... You boys can be kind of impatient sometimes. Come on, get up there. Whew. Look at all those, those rays of light beaming through the trees. See the, uh... See the lookout point off in the distance. Looks like we've got some rocky terrain to be able to get there. We are well up above it, my friends. Wow. But I think it might have actually worked out. That would have been a hard hill to climb otherwise. Question is, is how are we going to get down here without tipping? Oh, we, we've, got a, we've got a way. Even if we tip here, we've got the upgraded autonomous winch, so we'll, uh, we'll be all right. Look at that. I mean, only had to take a little bit of damage and fight our way through some of the toughest terrain yet, but we did make it to our first thing here. Let me check, see what we've got going on. There's a giant lake, drowned bricks. We could potentially uh, potentially grab that. There's a gateway to the quarry we might be able to go through. There's a farm swim over here. This is the farm. Interesting. I don't really see any upgrades or any trucks we're going to be able to get right away, so I think... Uh, oh, there's an upgrade over here, I guess. I take that back. All right. Um, 
I mean, we could probably head down this mountain. And I guess kind of come through this way and, and head to this one next. Dude, I was thinking this was going to be quick and easy because there's there's only three, uh... There's only three, three checkpoints, three lookout points. But I feel like this map is, is enormous and difficult on top of that. So we're going to have to be very careful about where we go and, and what we do here. Taking a bit of engine damage, but we're gonna be all right. We're also kind of starting to run out of gas a little bit. So we go out here, let's grab some fuel. Then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna head through to uh, to this tower. What do you guys think? Oh shoot, that's a nasty river we're gonna have to cross. Probably through here to here. Or actually, no, we probably, we probably wanna go there to here and then we can kind of come to here. Looks good to me. Dude, there's no roads over here, it seems like. This is, this is crazy. Alright, just be careful, Trev. Little, little damage never hurt anyone, but we do gotta be, we gotta be smart about this. Definitely don't wanna go down there. That pool looks like it's a, a good place to get stuck. So we're gonna see if we can go around on the rocky surfaces here. Have a little bit better traction. Dude, can you imagine trying to tow a trailer through here? Like, I don't, I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know if I believe my eyes right now. Is this real life or is this a mirage? Because we have a paved road that we can drive on. I haven't seen one of these since Nam, bro. This is insane. I can't believe it. I feel like we've been out here in the Russian wilderness for so long. Been losing, losing sight of who I truly am. We found one, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Do they even have these conc- these weird- What in the world is this? This is a fuel station? This is a whole different ball game, bro. It is- it is wild out here. And now we- we get to say goodbye to the- the beautiful paved road. That's alright. I mean, as long as it stays like this, we're- we're cruising, bro. We're good to go. What is that over there? Some sort of a farm or something? Like a beekeeper? What is that? No clue what that is. We're gonna keep our eyes on the road though. We're gonna keep on pushing, keep on moving forward. Gotta get to our next objective. We are not gonna let anything get in our way. So this is where I was a little bit worried. I saw the water. I mean, anytime you, you see water, it's obviously not a good thing. I'm gonna put this in low with the diff lock on. Hopefully we're gonna be able to cruise through this. Come on, girl. Oh, we are. We are really getting that back end down in there, but we made it. All right. Probably put this back in auto. Oh, shoot. This is this is a very, a very listy road here. Listing to the left. We got to be really careful. Get over this. There we go. Think about trying to take, I mean, even, even just an off-road truck through here. Think about that. But then think about adding any sort of a trailer to it. Oh my, oh my, what are we doing here? I don't think we're gonna be able to make it through that nonsense. I think our best bet's gonna be to go up and over. This is why we have a scout. We can go to places untouched. Oh shoot, dude. I hate the, the tree branches and stuff in this game, sometimes they give you such a hard time. I'm gonna try going to the right here. I just don't wanna touch these tree branches. The tree branches will stop a, a 50 ton truck in its tracks, let alone a little little Hummer here. So where are we wanting to go? I mean, ah, shoot, there's more water over there. All right, we're, we're probably gonna wanna, wanna hang a, a hard left and get back to the road. This makes me nervous. I feel like all the, the all of the stuff has already been so hard to get through and then we're adding water on top of that is just not, not a good mixture. Oh, shoot, dude. Be careful about spinning these. T oh, my okay. Yep, we're submerged. We are completely submerged. Let's uh, let's let's put this in low with the diff lock. Probably regular low. That's a that's a dead tree, and it's not gonna help us that much. I think this thing's gonna be our best bet. Get that thing out of there. Whew. We are gonna be cleaning out the bed of this thing for months, bro. Dude, even their little divots and stuff are sketchy. All right, back to this. Back on auto. Come on, bro. <laughs> we better find some good Russian trucks soon. Try to get back to, to what we know and love. So it looks like probably heading up through this way is going to be our best bet. Hopefully a little bit drier. You know, getting getting some uh, some height here. 
Hopefully the, the flood hasn't touched this area. This is a pretty impressive flood, bro. This flood has gone through Michigan, Alaska, and Russia. Just sweeping the entire nation. Yeah, this is this is gonna be good stuff. We can we can handle rocks all day, baby. We can even take all-wheel drive off, bro. We can save on some fuel. This is light work. Where are we gonna want to go from here? Oh, sh we we aren't even, bro. We aren't even on the road that we were supposed to be on. Are you kidding me right now? We're supposed to be down here. I think we may. We've gotten too far. I'm gonna go back. I would say let's just risk it for the biscuit and, and, and send it off the edge of this thing, but we've got uh, we've got objectives, we've got important things to do. I don't really want to go trucking through all that mud again, so we're going to go out and around and we're going to put this in a good spot. I don't know why. I mean, it, very clearly, Trev, you can see that the, the tracks head down this way, the road head, heads down this way, and you decided to go off on your own little parade there careful got some interesting music for Russia here kind of a banjo in the is that a banjo or what what's the the name of that it's not a banjo definitely not a banjo that that type thing it's got like a really weird deep raspy sound to it not weird I like it it's interesting no clue what it is somebody in the comments will know shout out to you I already know you're typing it right now I already know you think I'm stupid for not knowing what kind of an instrument that is, but I appreciate you educating me. Ooh. Is that a Hummer out there? Listen, Orange, let's keep this up, buddy. Would hate to see, see that happen to you. Would hate to see good things happen, or bad things happen to a good vehicle. All right, so we're gonna head through here. Do we wanna go up to the right? Yep, I think, uh... Probably up to the left. Up to the right looks like a, a bit of a, a bit of a long route there. We're gonna try to go straight to it. Let's 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 throw a, a marker directly on it. 678 meters away, or feet, or whatever distance units this game uses. Probably meters because we're we're filling up in, in liters. Probably meters because most everybody except for the good old U.S. of A. uses the uh, the metric system instead of imperial, but. Uh, we're gonna be all right. Looks like we found a road here. Let me check our map real quick. Yep, we're gonna to wanna to take a right. Okay. Might be able to take off some all wheel drive. This is looking like a pretty nice, pretty nice road. Fairly low key. Nothing too surprising here. Oh, it's raining. I'm trying to see if, we, oh shoot, gotta get all wheel drive back on. I'm trying to see if we could see anything sunk out there. I definitely, I, like, I, I shouldn't even be thinking about going out there, bro. I, we, we couldn't tackle that. I think the con might be able to. Apollo, our Jeep. Definitely feel like, e even with this, this diff lock, even with everything else, it, it, it's just a better vehicle. And it's a DLC vehicle that you get for pre-ordering the good version of the game, so of course they're going to make that better than everything else. That's what every studio does. What do you guys think? Probably to the right. This is kind of more the main road. Looks like the... The tower itself favors the right side as well, so thinking we might kind of make a swoop around this rock formation and we're going to be fairly close. But yeah, the pecan's definitely better. But this thing can still handle it. Oh, we're at uh, Abschnicksha, 100 meters away. Nice. Lo love to see that. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at this business. Wow. Taking some more engine damage. We might want to think about repair. I mean, why, why not repair? If we repair, we're going to have better fuel economy. So we're going to go ahead and repair uh, repair the engine. We've got 150 supplies. That's going to be an easy repair for us right there. 26. Got 124 left to go. See, that's really nice. We pop a tire. We do anything bad. We can just instantly kind of fix ourselves up and make everything all good again. What do you guys think? Do we go through here? We, I think we go to the right. That's got some, some height to it and some wetness. I'm thinking if we go over here to the right, we might be able to sneak in there a bit easier. I'm surprised we haven't seen any trucks yet. I really want to get some, some Russian trucks. And make them, make them hardy out here in Russia. Trucks and AKs. Be able to withstand anything. 
coming up here, drop it down into one. Let me throw, ooh, probably don't want to throw the parking brake on right here. I'm assuming we want to go to the right. Grab some winch spots. Come on, girl. All right, we're good. Let me let me check to make sure. Oh, no, we do not want to go to the right. We want to go to the left. It's a good thing we checked, brothers. I'm going to see if we can sneak back around this way. We'll have a couple of trees to tow us out if we need. Nope, we're good to go. So we want to go to the left, and then we're going to want to bang a right. And head straight up the mountain. Ugh, dude, there's nothing to save us if we get bogged down in here. No trees. No nothing. Come on. There it is, girl. That's what I'm talking about. I thought that was going to be worse than it was. We got this little little paved road we're gonna be going up here. Gonna bang a right at the end of it. And that's gonna lead us to the second outlook point of the three. I'm thinking maybe we hit all three outlooks. I mean, if there's anything really close and on the way, we'll go out of our way to try to grab it. But I'm thinking we, we kind of focus on hitting all three outlooks first and then kind of get a bird's eye view of the map and make a plan for our, our you know, saving the trucks and rescuing things and Maybe change up vehicles, get something that can tow them out better, that sort of thing. So, here we go. Got a new thing uncovered. There's a uh, Lost in the Rocks thing off the cliff. Okay, okay. Swimming and sinking. Saving country bread. The factory. Another Lost in the Rocks. I see a couple of trailers. There's an upgrade out here. But again, not seeing... Not seeing any, any trucks specifically. I know there's got to be some out here. But I'm, I'm not seeing them. So I guess, um, I mean, if we if we turn around and head back out this way, let's get down here, go to here, go to go to here, and then we can try to run and get this upgrade. You guys, oh, that's some pretty serious topography. But I think we might be able to grab it, and then from there we could go up and get our, our final thing. All right, sounds good to me. Let's get out of here. We got a bit of a plan. That's what we've been in search of all day, and uh, let's let's go enact it, baby. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you. The uh, the H2 kind of kind of bossed it up a bit right there. Now we're gonna see what she can really do. We made it to this point, and we're gonna have to try to make our way through the trees. I'm actually hold on. I think if we go to here, to here, through here. That might be our, our best move. So that's what we're gonna try. Gonna take advantage of our our map here. Map of the topography and see if we can uh, see if we can make it through here. But yeah, that section was easy. I mean, it's obviously all the maps kind of have different uh, pros and, and cons and stuff and, and areas are, are better than others. But that, that part of Russia was not, not bad at all. I enjoyed that. Here we go, we made it to an upgrade part. First actual collection of the day. We got it. Beautiful work. Hopefully we don't get stuck in here. If we do, we've got plenty of trees to be able to make it out. We're, uh, we're going to be just fine. Looks like it's raining again. So we want to go back out. Again, we probably want to go... We probably want to go through here to here. And then we're going to take a right and go up in here. That is our objective. No promises. It is going to be easy to get there, though. So we're just going to keep on keeping on. Keep on doing our thing. And, uh, you know, like I said, I mean, this this thing kind of... Ooh, that hurts. This thing did pretty well through those those couple of sections. I don't think it was the hardest terrain in the world, but it, it did well, that's for sure. I say we go ahead and uh, let's... let's Ooh, not recover. Oh, my goodness. That could have been so bad. We're going to refuel from our, uh, our, our supplies... And then, I guess, I mean, why, why not refuel at all? All right, we have nothing left. And then we're going to be able to repair, and let's go ahead and repair all. Looking uh, looking pretty good to me. We still got some, some fixing parts, but we don't have any more fuel. I'm going to get inside. We're going to turn our lights on, and we have a, uh, a rainy evening ahead of us. Hopefully, we can... Uh, hopefully, we can get to our objective. Oh, shoot. We're getting bogged down already. Might want to go in low with the diff lock. Low high, maybe. I think we might might be able to make it out. We'll, we'll wire. 
Wire pull ourselves a bit, winch pull ourselves a bit, just to make it a bit easier. We're good to go. Back on the auto. All right, ooh, mud on the windshield, huh? I like it though. Old girl was meant to get dirty. She'd rather be dirty than clean. This ain't no pavement princess, baby. Gonna make our way through here. I like to check every now and then. Looks like we might wanna take a left right there and then there's our objective. Just trying to be, trying to be smart. This weather seems a bit bipolar, man. I feel like it starts heavy raining and then it starts looking like it's gonna be nice and now it's heavy raining again and can't really, can't really decide what it wants to do. I can't believe we haven't come across any trucks, dude. Not gonna lie, a little, little disappointed. We're gonna seek them out though. Would imagine the better trucks are probably deeper into Russia, but uh, well, oh no! Oh, we're good. We're good. Get out of there. Come on. Oh my goodness. I forgot we had the autonomous winch, dude. Bit of a, a life flashing before my eyes type of moment right there, but we're, we're fine. Okay. I was going to take a left. Oh, shoot. We got radioactive chemicals happening out here, fellas. Bit of Chernobyl action. Gotta stay safe. It's only two Ronkin. We're going to be just fine. But yeah, dude, that, that was that was definitely a life flash of before my eyes moment. I don't think there's like I, I think back to ooh, this is this is getting nasty up here. We might we might want to bang a left and kinda head up this. If we if we go left through these trees and then left here, we're gonna be able to get up there no problem. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm not I'm not going through that that crap hole. But um I, I, I think about like some of the really like intentionally frustrating games we've played on this channel and I think like you know Crash Bandicoot was obvious oh shoot we've got a crazy crevice here let me go let me go low with our diff lock on but obviously Crash Bandicoot's one of those games that's kind of intentional in that regard and and there's quite a few other ones that we've played where we've raged pretty hard I don't think there's a more disheartening feeling than when you tip a truck in this game. Especially when you're like, you know, an hour into a delivery or an exploration mission or something like that. Like, it is just demoralizing and soul crushing to a level that I have never experienced before. And I feel like that's part of what makes this game, this game so great. I think they may have updated it and fixed the branches. We were talking about that earlier, but we're going through these fine now, so that's that's good news. But yeah, dude, I, I just, I, I don't, I don't think I don't think there's any other game in the universe that is as soul-crushing as this game is when you mess up. So you really gotta be, gotta be smart, gotta be safe, and uh, I don't know. Definitely adds a, a bit of, bit of flair, bit of intensity to it. I love it. So here it is. We made it to our final watchtower. The first of three areas of Russia has been uncovered. We found one upgrade part, but we have not... Ooh, there's an upgrade part over there. There's one over there. We have not found any actual trucks. Dude, there's got to be some trucks in here. Another upgrade part over here. There's... there's. I mean, sometimes the trucks don't really show up as an icon on the map. They're just kind of like you can see their big outline. Ooh, like this. Hello. Hello. That's a truck right there. So I'm searching around here. I haven't, uh, I haven't really found anything else. I mean, you guys know we found that one. It's convenient because it's kind of next to the garage. So I think we'll be able to go grab whatever this is. There's, uh, there's the, the Hummer. I believe it's a Hummer that we saw in the lake. And that's just a house. Okay, I'm not really seeing a whole lot apart from that. So we're over here. I'm thinking we try to grab these two upgrades and then maybe maybe after we grab those head over to this one so maybe we kind of head down left through here let's get to this point come around this way grab this upgrade grab that upgrade and then we're gonna have to go across and get that upgrade and I think that takes care of all the upgrades on the map and then we could go try to try to try to grab that uh, the big truck that we found I don't know I I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure if that's it. If there's anything else, I may end up kind of looking online and just seeing. Kind of want to uncover all of the, the secrets and exciting stuff off of this part of the map so we can, can move forward. 
Uh, I do think the fact that we've come to Russia now, we should be able to purchase some new vehicles. I think when you go to new places, you can buy vehicles that weren't previously available. So may uh, may end up checking that out. But for now, let's head out. We've got 49 liters of fuel. I'm really hoping this is going to be enough, enough to make it. I'm not sure if it is or not, but we're going to try our best and we're... We're just going to keep doing our thing here. Do your thing, man. Hummer's been killing it. going to be honest with you guys. I'm super impressed. The fact that it can kill it off-road and actually drive like a vehicle on the road and not go flying all over the place is, uh, is definitely very, uh, very promising for our future with this vehicle. So, going to make our way down this road and let's go get our first upgrade part. Well, how in tarnation looks like uh, looks like going around is, is is gonna be gonna be the answer here. I was tempted to just send it down that, but we kind of have we, we've got a bit of a bit of a direction that we can go here. You know, rolling over when we're on the opposite side of the map of our garage is is not necessarily a part of the plan right now, Trev. So let's 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 take this fairly fairly serial. You know, Lucky Charms. Captain Crunch, races puffs. Come on, baby. This is still a steep try. Are we gonna be able to make it back up this, dude? We gotta, we gotta make sure we go straight down and straight back up. We got water down here. Oh boy. All right, diff lock. Ooh. We're stuck on all sorts of crazy rocks and stuff, bro. But who does this? Who puts this here? Get me out of here. Come on. You guys think we can go straight? We got the upgrade here. Was it worth it? Probably not. I'm thinking if... Let, let's stick to the shoreline here. Shoreline's gonna be the way to go. But if we got... If, if we got flipped over anything in here, we're just done. It, it's, it's over. Wrap it up. With a nice little boat. Oh, this is not good. Probably shouldn't have tried to go straight over this rock here. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Get me out of this. Dude, we're st stuck on this rock. We're good. Okay. All right. Looking looking good so far. Back into low. Low high with the diff lock on. <laughs> we made it. Look at us, you and me. What, who who would have thought? Who thought we'd be here right now? Are you kidding me? Let's go, boys. All right, climbed back up on top of the world. So our next objective is gonna be uh, we're gonna be going for this upgrade back here. So we're gonna want to turn around. Let's go ahead and uh, and bang it right here. Gonna go here. I mean, this is gonna be sketchy. I don't know if we're gonna make it around like that. I don't know if it'd be better to, cr uh, it's probably not good to cross through this. So yeah, we're probably gonna try to go around here and then up this mountain and over to uh, to our next upgrade, which is over here. Send it! Oh goodness, dude, this stuff is so nasty. I will say, I, I don't think uh, I don't think we're making it to all of them. If we make it to this next objective, I'm gonna be very happy. I don't know that we're gonna make it to the final one. I think we're gonna run out of fuel before then. So if we don't make it, I'll just grab that upgrade off screen. I'm just kind of using this as a way to kind of explore the map, and I I think we've we've done that very well here. I think after this, I definitely wanna wanna move towards. Uh, can see our upgrade spot over there, the abandoned car. Definitely want to want to move towards uncovering whatever truck was stuck over in that valley. I mean, so far this looks pretty low key. Obviously, we don't want to get too close to the water. That's where it's going to get really nasty. But as of right now, we're doing okay. We got 26 liters left in the tank. None in reserves. I mean, who knows? That's about a third of the tank. So we, I mean, we we might. Be able to make it to the next objective. There are no guarantees. If we can clutch this up and make it there, I'm gonna be very, very happy. Just gonna grab that 
I don't even care what it's for. Some engageable, you know, transmission, all-wheel drive, something like that. I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about it. Oh, shift down into first. Here we go. Let's get up top. Let's make a game plan, Trev. So, we, uh, hmm. I'm going to say we're going to go here. 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 That's, that's the plan. That's what we're doing. Don't even question it. Don't think about it. Don't think about what could possibly go wrong. We're obviously not taking the main roads today, fellas. We've got 23 liters of fuel left. So we need to take a, uh, a bit of a straight line to the objective. Going to take a bit of a shortcut. We are really going to test the cojones of this, uh, of this here Hummer. Good old Humvee. This thing has, has done a few tours. She's gotten it done. I, I think she can handle anything, anything rushes gonna be able to throw her way, but I guess we're just gonna have to find out. Dude, this is sketchy. We can get stuck so easily out here, just stuck between trees and stuff. Oh my goodness. Our paint job! I'm crying right now. This thing would be torn to shreds. We're good. Problem is, is it's, it's so overgrown through here. I can't really... Oh, I think we're stuck on a... Oh, oh we got the winch on. You, you idiot. I was gonna say, I think we're stuck on a branch, but no, you got the winch on because you're dumb. It's so overgrown, we can hardly see outside of the vehicle, but we... I mean, this is this is going pretty well so far. We've got 19 liters of fuel to make it up the mountain. Oh, I'm going left here. We've been in this area before. I remember crossing through that nasty mud, so I'm trying to stay out of it as best as we can. Come on, baby. Look at that Russia strong tree right there. And Russia, you don't move trees. Trees move you. 17 liters of fuel. And we gotta go up this mountain. Ugh. All right. Let's go for it. 16, dude, if we... Oh my gosh, dude. I I'm... I will cry if we run out of fuel before we get there. You guys are going to see a grown man cry. This is either going to be the most exciting, most most profitable, most insane scouting mission that we've ever gone on, or it's going to end in heartbreak and disaster. I feel like we can make it here. I, I, I feel like it's okay. I feel like it's not going to be that close. But you never really know with this game, bro. Watch us just roll down, damage our gas tanks, fuel leaks out everywhere, and we're just done, so. Come on, put her in low, low with the diff lock. Oh, we got it, baby! That's what I'm talking about. New race thing for what? The Voron Grad. Well, I wish I could have found some Russian trucks to be able to use that on. But uh, our next, our, oh shoot, there's an upgrade over here. Yeah, we're not making it to that. That's fine. We can get that at a different point. That one's barely off the road, too. We'll be able to get that, no problem. Our, uh, our next objective, let me see, where's our garage? Garage is over here. We're gonna go out. We're gonna, we're gonna hit this. We're gonna bang a left. We're gonna come up through here. We're gonna go straight at this point, come around this way, and we're gonna try to, uh, try to grab this truck. Stop here and get the truck out. All right. Get the truck out, baby. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to cover this thing back to our garage. Take a look at our storage. What do you guys think? The P16? The Royal BM17. I feel like the BM17 is going to be a little bit more uh, maneuverable here. I feel like it's going to gonna suit the job better. And uh, let's hope she can, uh, can pull this thing out. So here we go. Rescue mission. Take one. Gonna be honest with you guys, so far, absolutely dominating. Looking like a championship contender. <laughs> Dude, this BM17 has my absolute heart. This thing shreds anything that you put in its way. Did we take the right turn there? Yeah, we, we took the right turn. This thing absolutely annihilates everything. I feel like there's nothing that it can't do. Looks like we've got a, oh shoot, that is a sketchy bridge there, fellas. 
Oh, there's the truck over there. We might, you know what? We might want to approach it. I think we want to approach it from behind. We might not even have to tow it out of there, if you want me to be honest. We might be able to switch into it and then just recover it straight back. Let's not think about this too hard. Some trucks, you can do that. Other trucks give you a bit of a harder time. But let's let's see if... We, dude, this, <laughs> this thing is just frolicking. No, it looks like this is going to be a mission. Show task. Uh... Plowed off road and blew the engine. Would you mind taking a look? All right, let's let's go ahead and start tracking this. So we're gonna have to repair it, give it fuel, and then take it back. See, like if we try to try to change trucks, we're not gonna be able to do it. Okay. Um, can we refuel it? I'm gonna give it all of the the fuel that we have. Okay, we're now out of fuel. We're gonna go ahead and uh, and recover this bad boy back. What we're gonna have to do is we are gonna throw on. A, a repair frame add-on get some new fuel and then we're we're just gonna go ahead and, and leave and go right back so I'm gonna I'm gonna get this thing off you know repair it up fueled up good to go and we're gonna be able to to tow this thing on out of here all right we made it back let's see what kind of damage we can do here so we're gonna try to re re repair this taiga we need 630 repair points, dude. That is insane. I don't think you have to get it all the way up, but you do have to get at least one of everything up. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to do this again. So let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna refuel this as well. Let's just get get all of the the fuel in there, and uh, we're we're just gonna have to do this do this one more time. All right, we're back. So this time I'm gonna try swinging this thing around. Obviously there's one one direction that this toe is gonna work the best and that's pretty much straight back up this mountain. I'm honestly not even sure where we're taking it to, so probably gonna wanna figure that out at some point. Ooh, we're kind of on top of this bad boy, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and repair it. We're gonna repair the, uh, repair the, the tag up. There it is. This thing is just about completely repaired, and I think we're gonna be good to go. I think we're gonna be able to be able to tow it. Uh, oh, is it is it gonna make us? It's gonna make us repair it a hundred percent. You want me to completely a hundred percent fix this thing out out in the middle of nowhere? Seriously, that is ridiculous. You would think you'd get this thing fixed up like just enough to to be able to to you know get it going again and then fix it up fully back at the shop but I guess that's that's not the case here so this should actually be our final one let's go ahead and repair the uh, the Tega here bada bing bada boom it's done do we actually have to tow this anywhere we change oh we don't have to tow it anywhere that's okay you know what I was I was complaining for no reason so we're gonna go ahead and recover this thing back to the garage let's grab our uh, I don't want to leave leave the BM 17 out there in the cold so we're gonna recover this back as well let's take off this 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 add-on here it's gonna go back with uh, back with our flatbed I guess sounds good to me and uh, let's take a look at this thing so this is the Tega 6436 should we uh, I mean should we customize it and see what's up it's gonna be Russian parts, so obviously we aren't gonna have a lot of that unlocked yet. Actually, looks like we've got a couple of them, so that's good. Uh, it's it's got an A power to weight, A durability or A minus durability, and B plus fuel capacity. So let me I'm gonna go through. We're gonna max this thing out. Off road uh, off road gearbox there. Don't have the raised yet. We can put some better tires on it, but I'm not gonna change those yet because we don't even know if this thing is good. Spare wheel don't need. Snorkel's not actually going to change its 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 performance or anything. Let me see some colors we have. Ooh, I like the red, white, and blue. The red and, and white, green and white, orange and black. I like the red, white, and blue. Probably easier to just check it in the actual truck store here. So completely bone stock. It's seventy six thousand dollars, which is not that expensive. A A minus and B plus with a three hundred and thirty fuel capacity. All-wheel drive and diff lock are always on. That's actually, that's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, to compare it, this is an A+, plus, B+, plus, A-. Minus. I feel like the BM17 is probably a little bit better, although it can't get a diff lock, so that's interesting. You know, th this Tega might be something we can mess with, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. It actually, it, I feel like it looks pretty cool. I, I like the look of it. Uh, now that we're in Russia, we do have some trucks available to, to buy here that we don't have otherwise. We've got an Azov here, which looks actually really solid. A minus A, B plus. We might have to check that out. We've got the Voron AE430, the D53233, and the Zix5368. 
Interesting, dude. See, like all of these things we can now buy since we're in Russia. Let me check our other ones. Highway trucks don't have anything available in Russia. Don't have any heavy duty available in Russia. What? We can get the Kolob 74941? It's $119,200. I, I need to... I need to buy this just just to see it. It's not gonna hurt us to. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. You know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm 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 gonna sell that for right now. We're we're gonna we're gonna keep that in mind. Hundred and nineteen thousand two hundred for that collab, dude. We might have to check that out in the next episode. These we're gonna have to level up to be able to unlock. The rest aren't aren't available. Off-road scout. Looks like we can get the Khan Low 4F vehicle. We can get the Yar. This looks pretty good. How does that compare to the Marshall B minus B S? B B plus S. Let me take a look at this thing. I'm gonna purchase. Oh, ho, ho, bro, what? These Russian vehicles are off the chain, dog. This is insane. All right, I'm I'm gonna have some fun with this for right now. I th I think we I think we sell this back. Yeah, we we've got the the Tega here. We got quite a few upgrades, and we uncovered a new section of the map. Next episode, I think we're gonna have to get to some some Russian trucking missions, and uh, I'm I'm kind of thinking we get that big boy. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna see you guys later. Peace out.